The Derringer is the ultimate backup gun. This gun is made by Henry Derringer in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And this is a black powder uh, muzzle-loading percussion gun. That means you have to pour the powder in, put the ball in, seat it, put a percussion cap on it. Now this gun is really for very close range. That's what Derringers are all about. In the Old West, they use Derringers not only as, as a hideout gun, but also as a backup gun. Some serious gunfighters kept Derringers on them because you never know. Certainly Derringer wasn't the first to make them. There were flintlock small pistols prior to this. Traditionally one that uh, would be small might be carried by a woman, might be called a lady's muff pistol. It might be called a gentleman's vest pocket pistol because it could be easily carried in a watch size pocket. This is what we call today a belly gun. This is for very close range. This is a gun that comes out and is fired literally at a distance of feet. In a gunfight with a Derringer, once you start getting some distance, you're gonna miss. Of course, the uh, Remington Derringers are traditionally associated as a gambler's pistol or perhaps a lady's last ditch pistol. Derringers just got weirder and better uh, with additional designs. The Chicago Palm Pistol is a very unusual uh, rotary pistol designed to be almost concealed in the hand while it's fired. It's fired by pressing the lever at the rear of the gun. This, believe it or not, actually holds seven rounds of an ultra-short rimfire cartridge. The magazine is removable, and you can see that there are seven chambers arranged outwards like the spoke of the wheel. The Galois was another squeezer-type uh, hideout gun design. In this case, the cartridges are stacked vertically in a magazine and each time the gun is fired, again by pressing a lever, the uh, round in the chamber fires, is ejected, and a new round raises into place. The Reed Company anticipated that a multi-purpose defensive weapon might be needed, and they developed what they call the My Friend Knuckle Duster. It's a six-shot revolver with no barrel. The cylinder serves as the barrel, and then the gun can be reversed and used as brass knuckles uh, in the event that the six rounds of 22 are inadequate for their intended purpose. A number of the uh, Derringers and compact hideout handguns of this era really didn't carry very effective cartridges. There's a famous story of an old frontiersman uh, first being shown a little 22 rimfire revolver and telling the, uh, the young Eastern dude that showed it to him, uh, he said, boy, if you shoot me with that and I find out about it, I'm going to spank the hell out of you.